in the last video, I showed you three games you could play for free on itch. And then I asked you to suggest any that you also think are really cool. And wow, did you suggest I got so many suggestions that I've already the next day had to record another episode for you. So here are three more really cool games. Well, I say games, two of them are games. One of them is a, I was going to say tool. One of them is a application that I actually discovered on the live stream from last night. So I'll, you, I'll say that to the end, but it's hilarious. So let's get started on the two games on itch that I think you should play next. And then we'll move on to the strange last one at the end. Enjoy. First up is Postal Secret. Far north on a small island group. A tragedy has happened. Breaking the postal secret is the only way to unravel the mysteries of the dead postman. Undercover as the new postman, it's your job to find out what happened by getting to know the islanders and their stories. Even though you may start to like them, reading their letters and manipulating their relationships is the only way to unravel the mystery. The postal secret no longer counts. Now this was actually developed in only four months at the Bauhaus University Weimar. It's a beautiful hand-drawn point and click mystery game. So I highly recommend you check it out. I had great fun learning the characters and seeing the animations and the details on the little islands. So nicely made, really, really good. So you can head to itch.io and check it out for yourself. Next up is High Stakes. And this is actually a card game. And I was really surprised with this. It's actually quite a simple idea, but it works really well. And I really enjoyed playing this. So it's Las Vegas, 2024. Vampires have stolen your blood. Play the card game of your life, and win it all back. Every round, you'll be dealt with nine cards face down. The goal of the game is to flip as many cards face up as possible. There is one vampire card and eight value cards ranging from two to nine. There is always only one copy in each card on the board. If you flip the vampire card, you lose the round. If you think you know where the vampire card is, you can use the stake to stab it immediately for more points. Flipping a card will raise the stakes. If you flip over all the value cards or stab the vampire card, the stakes will be added to your winnings. If you flip the vampire card, the stakes will be subtracted from your winnings. So as you're flipping the cards over, you do get little bonus powers, as it were, to help you unlock the rest of the cards. First, you may think it takes a couple of rounds to understand what's going on, but once you get it, it's really, really addictive and it, you know, it's really simple, but really, really good. So this game was actually created in a game jam, which is always interesting to see. And you can check out the developer who is the host of the Lazy Devs Academy video channel. So I'll leave a link to that below as well. And that brings us to our final item, which is not a game. It's actually a desktop goose. Now, why am I showing you this? Well, mainly because it's hilarious. So the idea of this is it's just a little application that you run on your PC and the little goose appears. Now, here's a troublesome goose like all geese are. Um, he'll steal your mouse. He'll track mud across your screen. He'll leave messages on the, he'll pull messages on the side of the screen telling you things. If you're playing a game, he'll he actually steal the cursor. He's a nightmare, absolute nightmare. He'll even pull memes in and like, goose-based memes onto your screen while you're working. It's so ridiculous, but do you know what? I love the light-heartedness of it. And if you're working away, and sometimes you are just sitting at your PC, not moving, not doing anything, and the little goose appears at the side of your screen and drags on a stupid message uh, for you to read, uh, and then when you try to clear the message and delete it, he gets then angry at you and then chases your mouse cursor and then drags it off the screen so you can't do anything. It's so stupid, but I love it. I absolutely love it. It's great fun. 
highly recommend you go and check it out. You're probably not going to be having this running all the time because it will get on your nerves. But it's definitely worth checking out for an evening just to see what happens. So check it out. Bravo to the developer. It's so stupid. I love it. So desktop goose. Again, all the links to all the uh, games and the goose that I've mentioned today will be in the description below. So please check it out. Until next time. Goodbye.